As some of you already know, in addition to my new comic book based YouTube channel Think About the Ink, presented by Bleeding Cool, I'm also a comic book writer. And this week, my very first creator owned comic, Superbia from Boom Studios, is on sale. Superbia shifts the focus from a superhero team to their significant others. So to celebrate, here's my top 10 list of movie girlfriends and boyfriends. Number 10 is Adrian from the Rocky franchise. Perhaps only Stella is a more famous woman's name cried out in cinema. But what makes Adrian even more interesting is that she's such an unlikely match with Rocky Balboa. But the heart wants what the heart wants, and Rocky has one of the purest hearts on celluloid. The date night ending between him and Adrian back at his apartment is still one of the sexiest scenes ever shot. Yes, Rocky's love for boxing is only rivaled by his love for Adrian. Number 9 is Holly Gennaro from Die Hard 1 and 2. Die Hard has a lot of great scenes, and most of them are action packed. But one of the more subtle ones is when John McClane shows up at Nakatomi Plaza and tries to look up his estranged wife in the directory, only to discover she's gone back to her maiden name. Sure, that's no big deal today, but in the late 1980s, it was a sign of how the times were changing, even for badass heroes like John McClane. And Holly proved to be as tough as her husband, complimenting him while still not overshadowing him. A tough balancing act in any movie, much less an action one. Number 8. Bert and Mary Poppins. Now, while it's never really confirmed if Mary Poppins and Bert are a couple, simply ask Harry Burns. Men and women can't be just friends. And Bert certainly goes out of his way to impress Mary Poppins. From sidewalk sketches and chalk to elaborate penguin dance numbers to literally being a one man band. And he's the perfect yin to Mary's yang, providing warmth and humor to round out her prim wit. One almost feels bad for him as he pleads with Mary at the end of the film to not stay away too long this time, as she clearly takes his heart with her up into the clouds over London. Number 7 is Billy from Born Yesterday, who perfected the wisecracking gangster mall who's smarter than she looks long before Harley Quinn came around. In the movie, a crooked businessman comes to Washington, D.C. trying to buy some influence, only to discover that his girlfriend is an embarrassment. So he hires a journalist to tutor her with some very unexpected results. While this might seem like a gangster version of My Fair Lady, its political undertones and brassy star allow it to stand on its own. Judy Holliday originated the role on the Broadway stage before recreating it on the silver screen, and her comedic turn was so strong she won the Academy Award for Best Actress. Number 6 is Carolyn Burnham in American Beauty, played by Annette Bening. And while Bening didn't win, she too was nominated for a Best Actress Oscar for her portrayal of an ambitious real estate broker whose materialism drives her and her husband apart. But the movie far from vilifies her, instead showing a complicated portrait of a modern housewife who tries to have it all and fails. You want your heart broken? Watch the scene where she preps a house for a showing. It's impossible for any modern woman not to identify with her. Number 5 is Mary Hatch from Frank Capra's It's a Wonderful Life. She's the classic girl next door, representing the kind of temptation and ambition that can keep a man from chasing his dreams. We all have their famous courtship scene after the school dance etched in our memories, where George tells Mary he'll lasso the moon for her. And we also all remember the tragic scene where George reluctantly goes to call on Mary, only to angrily realize that resistance is futile. It's a very mature and honest portrayal of the pros and cons of marriage, something rarely shown on film back in the 1940s. And while Mary could have come across as a heartless schemer, Donna Reed smartly played her as an innocent romantic who just wanted what every girl wanted back then, only she happened to fall in love with a dreamer. Number 4 is Pepper Potts in Iron Man 1 and 2. While in the comic book, Pepper Potts actually ends up with Tony Stark's chauffeur and assistant Happy Hogan, Gwyneth Paltrow's version does an excellent job of matching wits with Robert Downey Jr. Not an easy thing to do. Yes, there are shades of His Girl Friday in their scenes together, and while superheroes usually end up with models or actresses, Paltrow represents a very real modern woman who is not only extremely relatable, but admirable. She's not overly flirty or sassy, and is perfectly capable of running Tony Stark's business and his life for him. We women not only want to see Pepper Potts end up with Tony Stark in the end, but we wouldn't mind having her join our girls' night out either. Number 3 is Dorothy Boyd and Jerry Maguire. Any girlfriend who inspires the famous exchange of you complete me and you had me at hello certainly deserves a spot on this list. The Cinderella-esque role made Renee Zellweger an overnight sensation, where a single mom's Prince Charming turns out to be a sports agent going through a midlife crisis. But the twist here is that it takes a while for Prince Charming to realize how lucky he is. Jerry Maguire underscores one of the oldest and most revered aspects of being a couple, the woman behind the man. Because Jerry couldn't have pulled out of his tailspin without Dorothy's love, support, and faith. Things that in a perfect world, couples provide for each other. 
Number two is Rhett Butler in Gone with the Wind. Perhaps the ultimate soap opera boyfriend, Butler is both passionate and feisty, just the kind of guy to get a girl's petticoats all ruffled. And the scene where he forcibly carries Scarlett O'Hara up the stairs to their bedroom after an argument was pretty hot stuff for 1939. Adjusted for inflation, Gone with the Wind is still the highest grossing movie of all time and arguably Clark Gable's most memorable role. Rhett pursues Scarlett for years, despite her temper tantrums and snide remarks, resulting in some of the silver screen's best flirting. In today's dating world of easily wounded egos and misconstrued signals, who doesn't long for the simpler days of courtship? And number one is Lisa Fremont in Rear Window. In Alfred Hitchcock's classic and brilliantly constructed thriller, Grace Kelly plays the perfect girlfriend. She's independently wealthy, wears the best fashions, waits on boyfriend Jimmy Stewart hand and foot while he's cooped up in his apartment with a broken leg, and doesn't even pressure him into marrying her. But it gets even better. When he suspects a tenant to cross the courtyard of murder, Lisa is happy to investigate on behalf of her wheelchair-bound boyfriend. This results in some of the movie's most tense scenes, and Kelly does does a great job of conveying Lisa's enthusiasm without coming across as flaky or desperate. And that's my top 10 list of movie girlfriends and boyfriends. Share your own list in the comments below, and I hope you'll check out my new comic book, Superbia. You can pick it up at your local comic book store or download it online. The links to do so are in the video description. Plus, if you live in the New York City area, I'll be doing a signing at the Midtown Comics downtown location on Wednesday, March 14th at 6 p.m. I hope to see you there.